you guys? It's your girl Sierra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I create this beautiful graphic eyeliner eye look. And to create this look, I'm going to be trying out the new P. Louise Mamama Mitchell Acid Rain Paints. These guys are not super, super new, but they recently had an amazing sale on their website. So I was able to pick up three of them as well as two of the Prime and Define metallic bases. We're not going to be using these guys today, but maybe for another video. But today's stars of the show are going to be the Blink Canvas Acid Rain Paint as well as Ibiza, which is this beautiful purple shade. Um, I'm super excited to try these out. I have a whole bunch of the other P. Louise bases, as you guys can see, the orange, the pink, the white. I even have the original Rumor 2 base, which was um, in limited edition packaging, but this one is one of my favorites, my go-to to just prime my eyes with, but I definitely am going to be trying these guys out, seeing if they're very similar to the original P. Louise bases, as well as seeing if they crack, if the consistency is nice, the formula, the color, all of that. So if you guys are interested to see how I create this beautiful eye look, then make sure you guys continue to keep on watching. Before we just jump right into it, I have to show you guys the swatches because I swatched these guys the other day and let me tell you, she is the hick with like three C's <laughs> um, but no seriously like the coverage of these bases are I mean I'm sorry these paints are just insane super thick like you cannot see my veins through them um, I'm so excited to play with them and another thing is for sure is that these are very hard to just wash off with just water you have to use some type of makeup remover so that to me with it being thick and with it just not budging that's a good sign so that's that's definitely a good sign because that means to me that this look is not going anywhere throughout the day so let's just go ahead and jump into this eye look so I can show you guys how you create this a wonderful graphic liner okay you guys so as you can tell I did one eye off camera honestly because I had no idea where I was going with this look today but I knew I wanted to do something a little graphic just because we we're playing with the paints one thing I always recommend to my anyone out there doing makeup trying makeup especially if this is your first time trying to do a graphic liner like this I always recommend to try to do the makeup look um, on your bad side first or like the side that you feel like doesn't come out as perfect all the time so I'm right-handed so I feel like I can always Fleek this eye but this one I'm like I'm over here I'm trying to get like side angles so I always try to do this side first because I know that this one's probably going to come out ten times better anyway so it's my little tip to you guys so let me stop rambling and let's come on and zoom you guys in so we can go ahead and work on this eye to start off this look I'm taking my acid rain paint in the shade blank canvas and I'm going to take this with my P. Louise brush and pack this all over the lid. Make sure that you pat 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 all over so make sure you get the fullest coverage of this paint. So because I have oily eyelids I'm going to go ahead and take my gel breaker palette and take virgin to set my eyelids right before we go ahead and do the liner. Now taking the beautiful purple shade Ibiza, I'm going to go ahead and work that with a paintbrush in my waterline. This really helps to start the purple wing because you want the purple and the black wings to have different angles. So I found that starting in my waterline and then winging it out and then connecting it to my top lid kind of made a perfect angle for the purple wing. Um, I didn't realize this until I started doing this eye that I didn't have the purple wing on my left eye so you'll probably see me incorporate that in a little bit but as for now I'm just continuing on drawing that purple wing you don't have to be too perfect with this because like I said we're going to go ahead and add the black wing on top so these paints are really creamy and they glide on so nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I set this paint with Gumdrop from the Jawbreaker palette as well, just so that it doesn't move when I go ahead and apply the black. So there are no rules to make up. I'm going to be using my Snazaroo face paint to do the black liner. Um, just because all my liners that I had on hand didn't seem to um, glide on as smoothly as I wanted them to. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this liner just slightly on a higher angle than the purple liner. I hope that just me demonstrating through the video is a lot more clear than I can explain verbally. But just have patience with yourself and make sure that you're leaning on your pinky so you can definitely balance your hands and like I said just take your time 
I definitely was holding my breath this entire time I was filming this part. <laughs> And this is the part where I wanted to scream because it was looking ugly and then here I go with the damn wipe and I just made it worse. Oh, my gooseneck. <laughs> Believe me, you guys, I'm still not breathing at this point because this was the hardest part for me. I'm um, trying to get that line and then I'm just like, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> So if you're anything like me and thinks that drinking a cup of coffee before doing graphic liner is a great idea, you just might have some mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mistakes with some makeup remover and then take blank canvas again and go clean up the edges of the black and the purple liner. One thing that's certain about these paints is that the coverage is phenomenal. No matter how many times I want to clean up the black liner and layered these paints, they did not crack they did not get cakey they didn't budge and one thing i do recommend is that on the lid area that you make sure that you go over top of it with some type of translucent powder or a cream eyeshadow just to make sure that you're setting it and it doesn't crease but don't worry too much if you can't clean up all of the black because we're just going to go ahead and take abiza and go right over top of it to finish the top liner so to finish off liner, I'm taking my Inglot gel liner in number 77. I just realized I could have used this for the entire eye look, but your girl just found it now. So just my luck, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to finish off my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Pop this on my top and bottom lashes. And lastly, for falsies, I'm going to take my Corvar Beauty lashes in the style Chula, and I'm going to pop these babies on, and that will complete this eye look. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, and I am obsessed, um, let's go ahead and finish up the face makeup. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is not a new primer, but they do have a hydrating one, which I'm very intrigued about. So if you guys have tried that hydrating one, definitely let me know. Oh, I love the way this smells. Oh, it smells so good. I want to mix my foundations and do my Fenty one and just a little bit of my Super Stay foundation. Um, I really do like these two together just because this one gives me more of like a fuller coverage and then this one just gives me a little more hydration. My skin is hella dehydrated today because all I've been drinking this morning is coffee. So, this is like one of my favorite combinations. Like I just, like the Fenty foundation by itself is really great, but I just feel like it's not enough coverage. Um, like you can build up the coverage and you could definitely use a brush and everything like that, but I don't know. I just really like, do you guys see this? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like this looks so good. If you guys try that little combo that I just put y'all on, let me know because these look bomb. So now that we got the foundation on, it's time to go ahead and add some color back into this face. I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place Shade Stick in the shade Jacmel. Jacmel? I believe I said that right. These are so buttery smooth. It's ridiculous. Like, so good. So easy to blend. And I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques. This is like... I think like a like a cream. It's a medium sculpting brush. My bad, y'all. <laughs> For concealer, I'm using my Born This Way concealer. I cannot stop using any other concealer, you guys. I, I blame Jackie Ina, so whatever. Um, this concealer is just so bomb. Like, I just... I can't find another bomb one. And it's a little, it's hydrating, full coverage, all of that. So, so now it's just time to set the under eye. I'm going to be taking my Derma Blend Translucent Setting Powder. Bronzer I'm going to be using is Wet Shady Beaches. This is from Wet n Wild. I'm obsessed with this bronzer at the moment. It's like the perfect summer shade.
my nose keeps running every time I do the powder makeup, I swear. Every time. That never fails. It just never fails. Blush, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to be mixing the peachy shade and this light pink shade together and popping them on the apples of my cheeks. For highlighter, I'm taking my Juvia's Place a Neferidi Loose Highlighter. And I'm gonna pop that on the cheeks. We about to be glowing, you guys. This highlighter is popping. Like. Okay, so for lips, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take two lip liners from MAC in the shade Oak and Whirl. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips, starting off with Oak first. And then now I'm gonna go in with Whirl. And then I'm going to be taking my Sephora liquid lipstick in the shade 120. It's a lot of steps to this lip. <laughs> I like to overline my top lip just a little bit and define a cupid's bow. But literally, these liquid lipsticks are so bomb. So if you guys have never tried them, Sephora's got like every freaking shade. So pick you up some, okay? I got, I got all of them. Like... They're so good. But yeah, so now I'm going to top it off with just a little gloss because I'm not filling the matte lip with this eye. Everything's so matte on the eyes. So we're going to go ahead and take That's Cool from Dosa Colors. I love Dosa Colors lip glosses. They're liquid lipsticks. It literally smells like vanilla cupcakes. take the Jay Love Rue Cosmetics White Gold Pigment and I'm just going to pop that over top of that highlight shade in my inner corner just to add a little pizzazz because you know I'm extra. That looks so good. Maybe just a little shine, shine. Mm. Link them down so you guys can check them out, but it is so pretty. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed creating this graphic liner look with me. Now, before I go, I do want to give my final thoughts on the P. Louise Mama Mitchell Acid Rain Paints. So, you guys, I'm obsessed. I know that I've only done one eye look with them, but I'm really obsessed with the formula of these in comparison to the eyeshadow bases. Um, I feel like Blank Canvas is really, really similar to the color of Rumor 2. And what I mean by that is that the undertone is more of like a pink undertone, um, more rosy, rather than a cool undertone or a yellow undertone. So it is definitely something to keep in mind um, when I'm cleaning up my eyebrows. I like to use something that has more of a yellow undertone. So I did have to go ahead and use my Too Faced concealer just to clean up the underbrow. And then I went ahead and used the blank canvas as more so a base. I really do love using the Blink Canvas one as a beautiful eyeshadow base because it really cancels out all discoloration and gives you that Blink Canvas for your shadows. Now, in comparison to the Rumor base, um, this one is definitely a lot thinner. I had to use a lot more product. As you guys can see, I'm almost done this guy here. Um, I felt like I just had to continuously build it up to pack on the intensity. The paints are definitely my favorite in terms of just like a nice base. Um, and then also the colored ones, I would say that the formula is just amazing in comparison to the original eyeshadow bases as well. It's working to do the liner detail. It glided on my eye like butter. So with that being said about the product consistency, because it's so much thicker, I find that my eyeshadows are not going anywhere. Um, the thickness of it is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just giving you that heavier coverage, which is amazing. Amazing. so it's going to be doubling as a concealer for me um, but then again I find that once it's put on the back of your hand and once it meets your eyelid I feel like you can even just blend this out with your finger and get a really nice coverage with it as well like I said it's just more so about playing around with it and you know trying things out but I'm definitely going to be using these guys a lot more and incorporating them into so many other looks but even as liners you guys look at this like it is not 
budget. It's not going nowhere. And I've had this one for about two hours now, okay? So, P. Louise, if y'all did that, I I'm just gonna give it to y'all. We're gonna clap it up because y'all just did the damn thing. I am so happy I picked up these acid rain paints. And if you guys have tried these and created looks with them, definitely let me know how you guys love to use them in the comments below. I'm so interested to hearing different ideas, as well as if you guys would like to see a video of me trying out the Prime and Define metallic bases from P. Louise, definitely let me know as well. I have the shade Extra AF and Your Glowing, which is a beautiful, gold shade and a beautiful silver shade and i'm so excited to try these i wanted to incorporate these into the eye look too but i felt like that was just doing too much so i was like eh, i'll save that for another video so if you guys want to see that video definitely comment down below other than that if you like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload and i will see you guys in the next video bye